Well, I think this is possibly the best I've seen Cameroon look in a long time. I've been very, very, very disappointed with Cameroon in the last few Nations Cups, hence why I felt that they would actually not even make it out of these groups because they've been very disappointing in the last few Nations Cups. But now we are seeing some good football with Cameroon and a team who are actually playing with much more intent and much more meaning. Um, obviously, you know, the captain, Mo Kanjo, he's the leader of, of the team. He's the guy that they built the team around, and that was a great free kick. And you say to yourself that, you know, Cameroon should have gone on there and closed the game out. But I keep telling you guys, Nations Cup, this is why this is an amazing tournament. There are no easy games. And Burkina Faso are a very good team. They showed how good they were reaching the final, which well, they got beaten by the boys, Super Eagles, Stephen Keshi, we love you. Um, we are seeing how dangerous they are again. P. Troyper, who was one of the players of that tournament, showing his skill in here. And I think that for Burkina Faso, first of all, this was a very good game. It was end-to-end. Um, both teams created a lot of good chances. It was a lot better than the Gabon and um, guinea bissau game. And I think, you know, for Cameroon, they, they, I don't think Burkina Faso did not deserve to lose this game, especially in the second half with how much they put pressure on the Cameroon and how much they went at them. I think they, they wanted something more, but I'm liking what Cameroon are doing and I can see a team that can go all the way, you know, because... The physicality is always there. The intensity is always there. Cameroon, they always give 100% for the Jets, obviously, most of the, of the time, not all the time. But now we're seeing skill. We're seeing better chance creation. We're seeing better football being played in that last third to create chances. And again, Njia, who wasn't very good for, for, for Tottenham, he's looking like he can actually bring something into the team, an extra element. Um, so, yeah, so for Cameroon, I think the main thing is obviously being a lot more professional, closing out games, but they needed to get a second or third goal. And they created those chances, but they just need to be have better focus in getting it done. You know, when you're in that position, you need to get that right connection to put that ball in that bottom corner. But for Burkina Faso, I think these guys are dangerous. And obviously, um, Isufu Dayo getting the equalizer. Um, but I, but 100% Petroipa is crucial to the team. He is the finesse player. He's the guy that can really bring in the magic to the team. And... I just think that for Gabon and Guinea Bissau, they have to raise the game because this is a very tough group. I've seen Gabon and Guinea Bissau play. I feel that these two teams are markedly better than both Gabon and Guinea Bissau. So if it's ended right now, I mean, based on seeing all four teams, I would say Cameroon and Burkina Faso are most likely to go through as they have been the better teams. But again, it's what you do on the day. But I think obviously for this match for Cameroon, they just need to work on getting more and more goals. They can't rely on the one zeros. They've got a very young keeper in there and their defense is not that solid. So they will always leak chances and leak goals. So they need to get their, 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 their strikers scoring more goals and actually getting a second or a third goal. They can't just rely on the solitary goal. And again, for Mo Kanjo, he is the player who has to inspire them. If he plays well, it lifts the entire team. And for Burkina Faso, I just think really for them is do keep doing what, what they're doing. They've got a good keeper as well who made an amazing, amazing tackle when it was one on one, which was a game a game changer. I just think for them is keep doing what you're doing, man. And if they because it's it's so hard because trust me, if Burkina Faso bring this kind of level, but for 90 minutes, you know they they obviously are, are better that because even they conceded from a set piece, they didn't concede from open play, but again. They did allow a lot of chances from Cameroon. So for them to be better solid, have a better shape, but keep doing what, what they're doing, keep fitting pay, try, but keep being being brave, keep pressing. If they do that, these guys are going to be very hard to beat because this Burkina Burkina Faso are now becoming a force in African football. We're seeing them in numerous nations cups now, showing that no, these guys are a really good team and they can only get better. So it could be very excited to see what they do in the future. But again, fair enough, good game. I loved the um the excitement and how everybody really gave two thousand percent in the game quality quality old school typical nations cup match so it was great to see one one fair results based on how both teams played in both halves